Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine you are doing good you have enjoyed these eid holidays very well you have celebrated this uh, auspicious day very well with uh, your family members also and i hope that you are you all are taking the necessary precautions necessary <coughs> steps which we are supposed to follow to avoid any Uh, bad incident uh, of forbid us uh, and i expect also that uh, as the these eid uh, fast eid holidays are over now you will concentrate from now you will concentrate on your studies and anyway in the yesterday's video lecture in the previous video lecture sorry we did up to question number 3 question number 4 i will left as a home assignment for you and now i will do we will do question number 5 i will read the question but uh, before that uh, please uh, while watching the video keep the book with you so that you can have the clear idea about the question i will read the question in fig 6.20 de parallel eq df parallel qr prove that ef parallel qr this is the figure i will uh, draw the figure here this is figure it is uh, pqr pqr and it is given that uh, de parallel oq this is your oq here this is o and this is r it is given that de parallel and this is joined let us join this it is given that de parallel oq this is oq this is de D E parallel O Q and D F of parallel Q R. This is uh, D F parallel O R. Sorry, this is O R. This is D F. D F parallel O R. This is D here. D E parallel O Q and D F parallel O R. and uh, we have to show that ef parallel qr ef parallel qr ef ef i'm sorry yes this is, has been joined ef parallel <coughs> qr we have to prove that ef parallel qr this figure is also mentioned in your it is also drawn in your textbook please go through it so you need to prove that ef parallel qr simple if you look if you have the idea i already gave you the idea about the converse of uh, thales theorem if a line segment divides the any two sides of triangle in the same ratio then the line segment must be parallel to the third side if we are able to prove that pe by eq equals pf by pe by eq equals pf by fr then we are throw that ef parallel qr y because by converse of thales theorem so our approach will be that uh, we will try to show that pe by eq equals pe by fr so by converse of thales theorem ef will parallel to qr so let us prove it we will write proof have a look if you look uh, in the triangle poq in triangle in triangle P O Q. This is a triangle. Sorry, P O Q and D E is parallel to O Q. It is given. D E is parallel to O Q. It is given. So use the th Thales theorem. We will write P E by E Q equals P D by D O. Can we write it? P E by E Q equals P D by D O. Can we write it? Yes. Name this one and reason being by Thales theorem. But I I, I recommend you while writing in your examination don't write just write by thales theorem write the complete theorem here if a line is drawn parallel to any side of triangle other two sides are divided in the same ratio otherwise you will get less marks this if you only write it here thales theorem so again now in triangle now in triangle now in triangle p o r p o r here it is given that d f is parallel to r it is given df is parallel to or so by thales theorem if a line is drawn parallel to any sides sides of triangle what what will do the other two sides they are divided in the same ratio pd by do equals pf by fr or we will write it in the reverse order pf by fr pf by fr 
equal as PD by DO. Can we write it? Name this second reason again by Thales theorem. You have to write it here. So again, DE take a take a look. DF is parallel to OR. It means PD by DO equal as PF by F R. So have a look. This is PD by DO. This is PD by DO. Here it is O. I'm sorry. PD by DO. So their RHs are equal. It means their LHs are also equal. We will write from first and second. From first and second, we have PE by EQ equal as PF by FR. So we have we are we are done that P by EQ equal as PF by FR. Now by converse of Taylor's theorem, if you look in the triangle, we will write in triangle in triangle. P, Q, R. If any triangle, any line segment divides any two sides in the same ratio, then according to the converse of Thales theorem, the line is parallel to the third side. In triangle P, Q, R, uh, you know P, P, Q, R. We have P E by E Q, P E by E Q equal as P F by F R, P F by F R. P E by E Q equal as P F by F R. How 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 it is? How we know that? Because it we have already proved it. Proved. So by converse of Thales theorem. So by converse of Thales theorem. Please while writing in the examination, don't write this. Write the theorem completely by converse of Thales theorem. What is that? If a line is drawn parallel to any sides of triangle, uh, other two sides are divided in the sorry. If a line segment to divide uh, the any two sides of triangle in the same ratio, then it is parallel to the third side. Therefore, P by E Q equals P F by F R. It means E F parallel Q R, which implies E F parallel Q R. Write it here by Thales converse of Thales theorem, but write the complete statement of the theorem. So this was all about today's question. I hope you will get it. In next video lecture, we will do more, some more questions regarding it. So if you have any doubt or confusion in this, please let me know that. I hope you will enjoy it. And also, if you have some suggestions, please, these suggestions are most welcome. What happened, it will, uh, you know, it will uh, motivate me to upload more and more interesting video lectures, more and more resourceful video lectures, which will be benefited for you. Thank you, class.